Hey there, Family Worship Center. Romans 12, 2 is a verse that we often hear. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Right now we're bombarded by social media, by the 24 seven news networks, by our friends that want us to make sure we're caught up. We are just bombarded by news from both sides, from every angle. And it's really hard to discern what is true and what is not. But here's the thing, we know what is true. We know what is true. And so we need to stop allowing our minds to be a sidewalk for the enemy to stomp on. In Matthew 13, 4, the birds stole the seed along the walking path. Don't let that path be your mind. Your circumstances can define your negative thinking. And if we're taking in all of this news and all of this gossip and everything around us, we are just ripe for the enemy to swoop in and be that bird and pluck those seeds. So what do we do? We have to get in the Word. We have to stay in the Word. We have to pray. We have to be prayed up. We have to surround ourselves with like-minded people. We have to surround ourselves with people with the same belief system who will sanctify us and lift us up and not drag us down with them. Maybe you need to take a social media break. Maybe you need to set a rule at your house and you only watch the five o'clock local news and that's it. Maybe no news at all. That's what we've done in my house the last three days to kind of detox and slow down. And there is just so much going on in the world today that we need to come back to the truth. We need to come back to what is important and we need to fill our minds with the good things. Joshua 1.8 says, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For when you, for then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. So that's my challenge to you this week, church. Fill your minds with the good stuff and block out all the junk. And it's important that we know what's going on, but we all have to draw our barriers and we have to know where to stop. And we need to keep this word, the truth, as our center. Thanks guys, have a good day.